This is my first vlog, but I wanted to do it with my friend who is also known here, but mostly as Ranting Fire or Mr. Butala. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know me, I'm Miscellaneous Marcy. That name will be explained possibly later, possibly never. And I actually just got home, like, what, two hours ago? Yeah, about two hours ago. From working where I work, which is a sandwich shop, so I work in food, which is the worst job ever, I'll be honest. Yeah, never work in food if never. you can help it, because people are, they're fucked up. Especially in a place where there's a lot of stoners. Never, with the munchies and everything. Or in the town that we live, in Northern California somewhere. Or anywhere in Northern California, or really anywhere in California, you know. I'm talking about like the hippies. So anyway, tell me about your day. It was actually pretty good. I had a decent day. It's raining. It's been raining all week. I love that. I love the rain. But <laughs> things are going really smoothly too, right up until probably three o'clock. It's like an hour before I get out of work, of course. And there's this one lady who seemed really, really nice. You know, she let us know like she's allergic to lobster or whatever, so we had to make sure everything was clean first off. But honestly, that really should have been an indication. Somebody who People who do that, I've noticed, whether she's, I mean, she might be allergic to seafood. Who am I to, you know, she might be, she could die. Yeah, but realistically, she's probably allergic to that. And because she's allergic to something, she's been a little bitch about food her whole life. About, uh, tell me about this dumb shit lady who's allergic to shit and, you know, has problems with Lent. Okay, yeah, here's, she seemed really nice. So I think she's one of those customers that it's pretty okay to make casual conversation with because you're supposed to. That's... You know, kind of like the implied part of your job. It's not just making food. Apparently. Well, yeah, it's your job to, like, go there, be paid a shit wage to deal with stupid, like, business owners and retard customers who think they're, like, the shit. But, you know, I will deal with that because I like to earn money. <laughs> I will not lie. I like money. <laughs> I like to buy stuff and food. Stuff and food. <laughs> yeah, I have this overwhelming desire to eat on occasion and feed the cats. So tell me about this lady. Okay. I made an innocent comment about like how it was unusual to see someone order a meatball sandwich with wheat bread. Because you generally don't see that. People want it to taste like a pizza or something. So <laughs> they get with white bread or the, you know, oh, cheesy the bread. the jack kind of stuff. Yeah, with the cheese on it. I bring this up and she says, oh, I gave up bread for Lent. And I'm thinking... Oh, okay, you know, I have, like, family who's Catholic. Like, a whole side of my family's Catholic, and then one uncle on my mom's So, side. yeah, she's, she should probably be Catholic. That's what I, and I was like, oh, are you Catholic? And she said, no. And I'm assuming I gave her a look that was either that identical look or something like it. Because then she goes, oh, well, do you need to be Catholic to practice self-discipline? Todd... No, I just, you know, usually you have to be Catholic to practice Lent. <laughs> or so I thought. <laughs> well, and this is this is the big problem you have in Grass Valley. A bunch of fucking stoned out, dipshit, entitled hippies. The I can give it out. Well, fuck you, you don't get what you want. You, you know, here at this sandwich shop, you can have it your way, but don't go stupid. <laughs> it's not even just that. It's just like I've noticed that with people up here. And what is that? Like, you don't have to be Catholic, or do you have to be Catholic to practice self-discipline? I wasn't aware that it was this hard to give up cheese for six weeks. Lent is still six weeks, right? I don't think they changed that. Yeah, they yeah, haven't changed it for thousands of years. Okay, so I didn't think that was like, like 2,000. Yeah, that's technically plural. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I'm like, okay, I get it. You're not a Catholic. Why would you practice Lent? So how does this compare to, well, other fucking useless people? Like, what, are they the other people I deal with in food service? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's just one lady who wants this. A lot of our stuff does... We're not a goddamn real restaurant. We're fast food, damn it. It's like, if you don't like what's on the menu, leave. If you want everything really customized, go to a real restaurant. It's more expensive. But or, big shock, this is a hippie town with all these hippies going to the co-op having organic food. Stay your fucking ass home when it's raining and make your fucking sandwich. I don't understand people don't brown bag it anymore. I, because, because, don't you know, bags hurt the environment. Oh, whatever. Get a Tupperware thing and quit your bitching. Get out of my fucking kitchen. <laughs> I'm gonna go, you know what? Out of my house. <laughs> you come to where I work, order food, you're gonna eat your food the way I fucking make it. Or I'm gonna piss in it. No, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I might hire you to do it. I could, 
quick little tip for anyone who's watching this video who is in food service and has to deal with fucked off customers all day, quick revenge, bring eye drops and one little pinch into it. One little pinch into their drink or their food, their sandwich, whatever, whatever you can get away with and they are going to have stomach problems for at least an hour. Try it. Don't try it. <laughs> it would be very bad if they find out that it's you. So I guess what I'm really saying is be careful. Don't get caught. Pretty much. It's only illegal if you get caught. It's only illegal if you don't get caught. That's right. And with that, this has been another rant with Miscellaneous Marcy.